Hi YouTube, it's Brian from NDZ Performance. Here to talk to you today about our racker plate for the Glock pistols. Our racker plate is made out of billet aluminum and it is hard coat anodized. Uh, it is also engravable uh, with over 1400 images uh, that we offer um, by laser engraving here at the shop. Our parts are made here in the USA, so buy American. As far as safety goes, I'm wearing safety glasses. Obviously the camera is pointing at the uh, slide. This is a Gen 4 17. With the introduction of Glock's new MOS series of firearms and with a lot of people running out in using red dot optics on their Glock pistols, um, it was challenging for those to rack slides. Normally, the way you'd rack a slide is you come over the top or you would rack the slide with the retracting grooves here. Well, what we've done is we've incorporated a larger uh, area on both sides so that you can get a better purchase on the racker plate to make it easier to rack the slide by using the plate. So I'm going to show you how to install this on this Glock 17 Gen 4 slide. The pistol has been taken apart per factory specifications. Uh, again, I am wearing safety glasses. Uh, anytime you work on any firearm, make sure that you are um, Utilizing all the safety rules, no ammunition is present. Make sure the gun is is taken apart per factory specifications. Um, we're in our uh, video room, so there is no ammunition allowed in here. Uh, the gun has been uh, disassembled prior to filming. In order to take the factory slide plate off, you need to find the spacer sleeve, which is located uh, directly in front of the striker. It is a black piece of polymer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push downward on it towards the ejection port area or towards the barrel area. In order to do this, I'm going to work smarter and not harder. I'm going to place the front of the slide down on the bench. I'm going to place my Glock Armorer's tool on the back of that spacer sleeve and I'm going to push downward towards the bench. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to push the factory plate off. I'm going to keep my thumb in that position because I don't want the extractor bearing um, to take flight. I am wearing safety glasses, but uh, safety is first and foremost and it is very important. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Once I've removed the factory Glock plate, I can now take the NDZ racker plate and install it. What I find the easiest thing to do is to rotate the slide uh, quarter turn so I can look at it um, from the bottom. I'm going to get it started in the grooves here and go up to whereabouts it bumps the spacer sleeve and you can either use your finger to get it started. I have big thumbs so I'm going to use my Glock Armors tool and push ever so slightly down on the polymer to get it started. I'm then going to press down on the extractor bearing and get it to go the rest of the way. Once it does that, I'll fully seat it, check, make sure that it is properly seated, and there you have it. The NDZ Performance Billet Aluminum Racker Plate for the Glock Pistols. Thanks for watching. Please visit us at ndzperformance.com for all your custom accessories and please check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, NDZ Performance. Thank you again for watching.